Good morning from Bali. So I'm staying at this Airbnb. And what's funny is that every time I walk in and out of my door, I have to duck. <laughs> I'm not that tall. So this place is super awesome because of all this greenery around and they have a free breakfast every morning with fruit which is even more awesome and they have this courtyard with fruit trees so you can see there's an orange tree right there and there is pomegranate tree here and the best part of all is their Rolinia tree you can see a Rolinia right there and some more up there and there so it's getting to be the end of durian season here in Bali which means the durian prices are going up and I can't afford expensive durian right now so the next best thing is dragon fruit which is in season so i'm going to take you with me to the dragon fruit guy and hopefully we can find him in his usual spot i checked the weather it's rainy season here currently but the weather is looking really good it's a really low chance of rain so i think we'll be in luck here's my ride for only $2.50 a day, $2.50 a day, pretty cool, let's go. Dragon fruit right here in my scooter. Hopefully it'll stay. I stopped at another market. We got the bike all loaded up here with some jeruk, which is a citrus, and dragon fruit. I always like to start the day with something juicy, so I'm juicing jeruk right now. Like I said, it's Indonesia's version of the orange. It's a jungle citrus, I think. I'm squeezing with one hand. And just like that, just by squeezing about 10 jeruks by hand, I got a really good amount of juice. Here's the end product. in a nice fancy glass. Let's try. Mmm. Just the right amount of sweet. So good. Now for the moment of truth, the dragon fruit. Look how big these things are compared to my head. They're the biggest ones I've ever found and I'm super excited to dig in. These are very satisfying to peel. You just stick your thumb in and skin comes right off. Look at that color in there. I have to be careful eating this with the white shirt because these can stain. <laughs> these are one of my favorite fruits because 
they have these little black seeds in them and they kind of make it like eating a chocolate crunch bar because crunch bars have puffed rice in them which makes them a little crunchy and these seeds are just like puffed rice the seeds aren't too hard not too crunchy they're like light seeds that add to the taste and texture experience of this fruit and if I were to describe the taste to you it would be like the sweetness of a watermelon the texture of a kiwi and a crunch bar mixed and yeah I can't really do it justice you just have to try it for yourself I'm on to my second one now and this is what my face looks like after eating a couple <laughs> there is another fruit called the blackberry jam fruit it's not the official name for it but it's widely known as the blackberry jam fruit and this fruit I forgot to mention is a lot like blackberry jam so this could also be the blackberry jam fruit <laughs> I am so satisfied. The white dragon fruit you get in Europe and America does not compare at all to the ones you get in Bali. The ones here are way sweeter, they're fresher, and just so much better. I'm going to do some computer work for a while, and I'll catch you in a bit. Well, I'm done with my computer work. I'm having my second meal now. I don't really like to think of it as breakfast, lunch, or dinner, just because I eat whenever I'm hungry, so that might be any time of the day. I'm having little dragons again. So I guess I'm on the dragon fruit cleanse or dragon fruit island, if you like. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> these are incredible for improving your digestion because of the little seeds in them. I've already felt their effects today. <laughs> so, thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed. Peace, much love, and I'll see you in the next one.